All right, let's see what I can do here. I'd like to look at um, using constructing an orthogonal matrix. All right, uh, so let's say I've got a matrix. Um, let's see, what should I call my matrix? I'll call my matrix uh, M. So matrix uh, M. And M will look like 1, 4, 4, 1. Uh, excuse me if I'm using different notation. It's been a little while since I've made these, so the notation might be slightly different from what I was doing previously. Um, and I would like to find an orthogonal matrix. from its eigenvalues. Okay, so let's see here. Um, how does this work? Well, first, probably I should remind you what an orthogonal matrix is. An orthogonal matrix is a matrix whose transpose is equal to its inverse, all right? sort of the definition and um, and then I just have to sort of find it uh, and the way we do that is first we find the eigenvalues right so we have to find the orthogonal matrix from the eigenvalues and then we just use those eigenvalues as column vectors in the matrix that's really it so uh, first we'll find the eigenvalues And we find eigenvalues using this characteristic equation, which is uh, this element, this uh, zero, zero element minus lambda, and then nothing to this um, zero, one element, and the one, the zero, one element, and the one, zero element um, still four, and then the one, one element, one minus lambda. So basically we've taken M and subtracted lambda times i and then we're taking the determinant of that all right um and we do this we have one minus lambda squared and this is going to be minus 16 right so that's going to equal lambda squared minus 2 lambda minus 16 plus 1 is minus 15 and that's equal to what lambda minus 5 times lambda plus 3 they told me in junior high and that's going to be equal to 0 all right so that's uh, that's going to give us our eigenvalues and our eigenvalues are what makes this equal to 0 uh, so if lambda is equal to 5 then this is 0 times whatever that is that's 0 if lambda is equal to minus 3 this is 0 times whatever that is that's 0 so those are my eigenvalues. Lambda equals minus 3 and 5. All right? So from those, we want to find the eigenvectors, right? So the eigenvectors we're going to find just by using the definition of an eigenvalue. Um, let's see. So how did that work? We had A. Well, we, let's start with lambda equals uh, minus 3, right? So an eigenvalue will be something where if you multiply a matrix by some vector, it's going to be equal to that eigenvalue times that vector, okay? So um, this gives us two equations. We're really only going to need one of them. Um, so that's like a uh, plus 4b equals minus 3a, right? And that's actually en enough for what we need to do. Um, that's 4a plus 4b is equal to 0, right? Which means a is equal to minus b. So uh, we can have a nice, let's go ahead and use a... Um, normalized eigen eigenvector. So that first eigenvector is going to be, let's use v, uh, 1 over the square root of 2. Uh, if a is 1, then b is minus 1. 
right? So we can go ahead with that and do this for um, lambda equals five, right? And so we take that original matrix, multiply it by A and B. The eigenvalue is five now times AB, which means that um, A plus four B is equal to my, is equal to five A. Um, which means that minus 4a plus 4b is equal to 0, which means that a is equal to b. So we'll have some vector w is equal to 1 over the square root of 2, 1, 1. Again, it's normalized, that's why I use the 1 over the square root of 2. I, I think that's sort of sufficient. And um, then we need to construct the matrix. And like I said previously, when we construct this matrix, all we have to do um, is use these uh, these two vectors as um, as as columns, right? So what should I call this? Um, let's just say we call it n, and we use one over the square root of two times um, one times minus one and one and one, right, V and W. So that's the matrix, right? Uh, the only thing we might wanna do is actually check, right? It's usually good to check something. So let's check. Okay, so let's see, what is M transpose? M transpose is, uh, uh, let's see, um, oh, not M transpose, we want N transpose because it's the orthogonal matrix and transpose is just uh, one, one, and then we flip these two around, one minus one, all right? So that's the transpose. And to find n to the minus one, we'll have to use some sort of technique. Uh, let's find, find it using, um, using the, uh, um, I, I forgot the name of this method, so we'll just use the method that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, so I've got one, one, minus one, minus one, and one, zero, one, zero. All right, and I'll just multiply that all by one over the square root of two. Uh, that's going to go to, uh, let's see, if I add um, this to this, I have uh, one, 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 zero, because I'm not doing anything to the top row. And one plus minus one is zero, and one plus one is two, and one plus zero is one, and zero plus one is one, all right? And then I'll go ahead and I'll reduce that, right? I'll say, okay, I all I care about is um, this zero, one, right? So I can pull out, pull out the two, Right, I think I can pull out a two. And I have, I hope, a square root of two. And one, one, zero, one. And um, one, zero, one half, one half. Right? And then I can go ahead and, how close am I to the edge? I'm near the edge, all right, so I'll go down here. Uh, I can go ahead and subtract row two from row one, right? So I have zero minus one is, one, or one minus zero is one. One minus one is zero. Uh, one minus one half is one half. Zero minus one half is minus one half. Then I just repeat all this stuff over here. Uh, I forgot my square root of two. And I have a zero, one here, and a one half, one half. All right, now I'm going to factor in that square root of two, right? So that I have um, square root of two, zero, uh, one over the square root of two, 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 and that's awesome. My end of the minus one is one over the square root of two, one, one minus one, one. So that all works out. It's exactly what we thought it would be, which is a um, orthogonal matrix. All right, well, 
Thank you very much. I hope that's um, illuminating. I hope, I hope that helps you with your homework. All right, bye now.